Hello and welcome. Today we're going to explore the Schmincke Bijou palette from the Retro Line collection. It has a very vintage looking packaging with H Schmincke and Co. And this means factory of fine artist paint. I just looked it up. My German isn't that great, so it comes with eight half pants and same thing set on top. On the back, the retro line is a revival of historical Horodam watercolors that were once used for beautiful watercolor paintings. Horodam Aquarel, finest artist watercolors in best quality. And these watercolors included in a watercolor palette. So let's unbox it. Schmincke doesn't have the Bijou style palette in the regular lineup. They do have the Whiskey palette. So with the golden lettering, uh, it's focusing on the packaging, which also says H Schmincke and Co. The back. Let's open it up. Oh. Thank you for being a part of our history. And then a sign off. This is quite cute. Painting set with a swatch card with more <laughs> boxes than watercolors that are included in this package and I do also like the detail for packaging you can also squeeze in four more watercolors do love the attention for detail the packaging looks very retro and also wanted to add that this collection is currently exclusively sold at Jackson's Art Supply. I also saw it on a German art supply store, so uh, they're probably just rolling it out. But let me <laughs> compare. Oh, this is by the way, the whiskey palette. And I swear they keep changing up the logo of their watercolor, pa watercolor palette. Because sometimes they do include the owl. Maybe it's for the longer palette. It's slightly longer and a bit thicker because of the water tank. This palette is included in their regular liner. Oh, am I? Yes. Should close the palette first. But we're gonna carefully unwrap these watercolor half pants and start swatching. I'm quite excited because it has a quite interesting looking color selection because it has a vibrant primary set, a green and then some yellow earth tones, a reddish earth tone and a paint gray. So here are the watercolors unwrapped and now it's time to swatch them. I'm using a Princeton Neptune brush in size 8. I'm swatching from right to left instead of left to right. Chromium Yellow Hue Lemon. Which is a cool yellow PY175. Vermilion PR255. It's a warm orangey red. Sometimes I forget how easy Schmincke rewets. Ultramarine Finest PB29. A warm blue, which seems to be. <laughs> Included in almost every palette. A 
then we have viridian it's a pretty strong viridian color pg18 yellow raw ochre I don't think I've ever heard of a raw ochre, a raw sienna, but not a raw ochre. Which is a mixture of PY42 and PY43. A soft granulating earthy yellow. So now I'm wondering how raw umber looks in comparison. In the pan it's slightly darker, but not by much. And it's watercolor, so you never know. Raw umber is... A single pigment watercolor PY43. It's slightly darker, but not by much. And also, well, well let's wait and see how it dries. Next up, English Venetian Red. PR. 101 Schminke paints grey which consists of PR101, PB29, and PBK7. It looks very grey for paint. <laughs> for paint grey. Sometimes paint grey leans a bit more on the blue side. I know that Shmika has a paint grey bluish. So now we're gonna wait just a bit for the colors to dry and I'll be right back. So here is the palette swatched out. I also wanna make a mixing chart. I think this is gonna be a green heavy mixing palette because of the two yellow leaning earth tones, a yellow, a green and a blue. And the reds that are included are warm leaning and the blue that is included is also warm leaning. So it's probably going to be a warm muted mixing palette with a lot of greens. So let's start. Oh, <laughs> so let's start mixing.
So here are the swatches. I also stuck down the labels that came with all of the information. So I hope that's visible and I made a mixing chart using the colors inside the palette. And like I thought, it creates a lot of earthy greens and beautiful soft earth tones. It's kind of, it's an interesting combination of colors. These two colors kind of have the same effect, so I wouldn't think it would be necessary in an eight and a half pan palette. I rather have like a cobalt blue in this palette. I think it would balance it out quite nicely and would have also the same type of effect in this palette. But I do love the fact that these three primary colors kind of stand out in this palette. And then you have your earth tones. I also decided to do a mini demo just using this palette. And I first started off using yellow raw ochre on the whole painting as a sort of stain. And then use English Venetian red, yellow raw ochre, and just a bit of Schmink and Paints Grey for the skin tone. And the places that I wanted warmer, I added more of the Venetian red and maybe just a bit of Vermilion. And for the shadows, I just added a bit more of the Schmincke Paints Grey or Ultramarine Finest. And I really wanted to add <laughs> the Viridian to the painting. And so I mixed it with Ultramarine Finest. But here's the result of using just these colors. So what do you think of this palette? I have to say this is like a standard, basic, bijou style palette. With just like a gold lettering of Schmincke. So what do you think of this collection? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I would love to see you in the next one. Until then. Bye bye.